Well, it is day 66, and uh, ITGK survives the arc day by day. And we have moved on from cryopods. So, as uh, you can see here, all the cryopods have been emptied, and I have indeed turned on a mod. It's not super cryo storage. This is the Dino Depot terminal. It's a very similar mod. Um, this one I knew for sure would have all the features that I wanted after I did some more looking into it. So I just went ahead and, and uh, did turn it on. And we have some stored away. These are pretty much, there's a couple of things that were in the yard, like Jet was sitting out in the yard. He's in here now. Um, a couple of the leftover Megatheriums that were out healing. They're in here now. Also, I did not realize I have terrible Megatheriums. Uh, part of the problem that I uh, lost to the Broodmother. I mean, look at this. 29 melee, 31 health, and 45 oxygen. Wonderful. Wonderful. I just, I was not going to suffocate fighting the Broodmother. I'll tell you that much. So, uh, yeah. And I set up two of these terminals. Uh, they do not passively generate things like eggs, poop. Uh, resources, none of that. It's just a storage thing. Um, it can act as a boss terminal if you want it to. I have that disabled. Um, it can act as a air conditioner. I have that disabled. So, what I do have is a second terminal out here because it only has a 10 foundation range. So I set another terminal out here to pick up the Rex eggs and left the Rexes on breeding after I finished getting this all set up. So, as you can see in here, it will automatically pick up and incubate fertilized eggs. So, I don't, ha I don't have to do anything but just throw these eggs out and let them hatch. Actually, I don't know. Will they, will they hatch here? They will. Well, there you go. So, now... Oh, boy. I dropped a sphere. Okay. So, now... All of those Rexes will automatically have their eggs get picked up and put in here. And I can just insta-kill them. This one has a mutation. It's on... Just go ahead and dump all those. We will let the Rexes continue to go, and we will check the uh, terminal from time to time, just in case. But uh, yeah, we will let those let those go, and so we're gonna need higher level Rexes. Either gender works because these Rexes aren't great either. They're just, they're, like the uh, Megatheriums, they're just acceptable. They're not really good. They're just, uh, yeah, I guess I can make this work for, like, beta. But I need that uh, saddle. We have caves to run. Got taming to do. Lots of stuff to get done here. So, and now I can take my creatures around with me from place to place. Like, if I need to go and pick up some... Uh, like, I, I know that I need silica pearls. So what I can do is I can go down to my other cryo fridge, which still has my sea creatures in it. I haven't transferred that over yet. I can dump my sea creatures out. And I can pick up my anglerfish and take my anglerfish with me out to where the pearls are and go and get some pearls. I don't have to swim all the way there and spend a whole arc day swimming there, getting pearls, and swimming back. Um, some other features that you can turn on, some are on, some are off by default, is um, I have it set so that you cannot um, cryo unconscious creatures. And you can't use them... Oh, this thing is is out of gas. 
you can't use them in uh, caves. So my cave runs are still going to have to be legit. They have to fit all the way through the cave. But it's just a it's just a convenience thing at this point, like I said at the end of the last episode. I'm at I'm at a point where it's just saving me time more than anything. It's not that I don't have the resources or the ability to do things. But the first thing that I need to do is I need to go out and get some more crystal because all of this stuff takes crystal to craft. So we are going to go out and farm some crystal so that we can um, create as many dino storage balls as we need. Yeah, the base runs better when not everything is out all at once. So, could we try the artifact of the pack? Pack? I think it's pack. Okay. This way, if I die, I don't lose anything but the frog. Hopefully this cave isn't overspawned like the others. We will see. So I did some research, and I think I figured out how to fix the overspawn issue. I will look into it, and heck, I use this series kind of to test stuff anyway. Might as well. It only seems to happen in caves I've already loaded. So I'm not sure if this will be an issue or not. In this cave. I think this frog might do more damage than my other frog I was using for the longest time. Maybe it's the imprint. It does help. Speaking of imprint, I should probably... I don't know if I have sharks of opposite genders, but I should probably look into breeding sharks. Can I get... I can't get through there? Are you kidding me? Oh, I can? Okay. Man, that was close. Come on. Okay, can I get you to follow me through when I'm not riding? Okay, can we go a different way? Not without my crossbow. I'm gonna have to grapple up and out.
Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. I mean, it sucks that I lost a frog, but I made it in the cave, and I might make it out. I think that's where I got stuck before. There's still definitely stuff in here, though. That's what's spoopy. Oh! Oh, we are out. Oh, we are so out. We are so gone. Hello. Boom. Take me home, taxi. And a boom, the artifact of the pack. I didn't see any Megalania in there either. Um, the one on Carnal Island might be the best place to get them. This will be a good cave for me to run drops on. Both this cave and the Cave of the Brute will be good for me to run drops on. I need a shotgun so bad, bro. Well, when I say I need a shotgun, I mean like a real shotgun? I pulled an Ascendant double barrel out of a drop once. Didn't end up getting to keep it. Fun fact, saving and reloading in a game, in a cave, while in single player mode, will force um, loot drops to spawn inside the cave. Otherwise, they very rarely spawn inside the cave. Because caves are unloaded. Hey, there's a blue loot drop over there. One artifact of the Devourer down. Now, will it reload that loot drop I've already gotten so I can go back up and get it again? Megalania Toxin, yes! <laughs> oh, loot crate.
So I have an Ascendant Mammoth Saddle, an Ascendant Trike Saddle, Ascendant Chitin Gauntlets, an Ascendant Chitin Helmet. I don't think anything respawned this time. But I am going to double check. Oh, there's one. Flare gun. Ascendant Megalania saddle. Ascendant sword. Ascendant Torch, I mean, yeah, sure. No, I think we're out. Oh, nope, there's loot drop. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we're out of loot drops, but no. Hey, I got it a blueprint for an Ascendant Shotgun. It's a double barrel. Ascendant flak chest piece. Ascendant crossbow. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. Oh. Well. Oh, red drop. Gotta get that. <clears throat> so. We are at a point where I have done two of the three required caves. The last one is going to need serious water stuff. So I need to get serious about getting some high caliber aquatic tames. And now that I have my crossbow, I can do that. I said, what was it, maybe last episode? That uh, green just wasn't going to cut it anymore, green and gray. Well, we've got a lot of blue and yellow now. It's nice. Red with a ring.
All right, Basilosaurus time. One day later. So I went all the way around the island. Didn't see a single Basilosaurus. I was like, okay, surely I'm just missing one. But to make sure, I enabled Der Dino Finder and I searched. There is not a single Basilosaurus on the entire map. One Ascendant Ichthyosaurus Saddle. This one has 45 levels in health. Okay, I need Basilo. Thinking Basilo. Yep, artifact of the devourer, artifact of the pack. I just need a Basilo. So, shovel, 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 shovel. Okay. Treasure is that way. That in the redwoods again. It is at 54.53. This is when a Thyla comes out of the tree. Three hundred meters up. Okay. Two hundred meters yet. Twenty meters, okay. Am I close enough? Ascendant fur cap, Mastercraft Echoist saddle. Alright. So I'm starting to notice that my problems with loot is more so me feeling like I'm not getting the kinds of things that I want and less so the quality itself. Like the quality is just fine. The quality of loot is actually really, really good. It's honestly maybe a bit too high. But I guess it balances out with not getting enough, so you just have to keep running drops until you get something useful. I think it honestly should be the other way around. It should drop fairly useful stuff, but then you feel like, well, you know, I can always do better. Not, oh, thank God, I finally got that 300% Ascendant Pump Shotgun Blueprint, and now I can stop. Okay. So I quickly double-checked. I'm out to tame literally anything. But, if I go Mosa taming, which, you know, I could m knock out a Mosa. But if I go Mosa taming... I'm going to have the interesting problem of the fact that it takes like 25 kibble to tame a Mosa. We don't have. So, we're not we're not Mosa taming right now. No way. No way. No, we will just go Basilo taming. Hopefully. I uh, anyway.
I'd prefer to breed I would prefer a breeding pair. But a Basilo is a Basilo and I'm not gonna complain. I've spent like three and a half hours looking. Uh Alright. I made that Ascendant Ichthy Saddle, and now I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to use it. I probably will at some point, but... You know... Thylacolio, Uteranus, and what? I'm not sure that I'm going to need the Cyan Kibble again. I don't know what else needs it that I'm going to be taming anyway. Rexus take yellow? Gigas take yellow? I think Gigas take yellow. Maybe I'm wrong about that. So it's basically straight out from this cove, I think. There's a shark. <clears throat> is that the artifact or is that a deep sea drop? I think that might be a deep sea drop. I am doing the artifact of the brute with no chestnuts. Okay, now I need to make sure I go straight through. I have plenty of stam for this. Go. Don't stop, just go. Go straight through. I also have to drown to death. I'm gonna save my food just in case I start dying.
Come on, surface. Where's the surface? And that's why you level your oxygen stat. <laughs> I cannot believe I made that. That was tight. Remind me to bring a second chest piece for air next time. Uh. Artifact of the Brutes. We've done each cave once. So now... Technically, the Gamma could be done. Fruit Devourer Pack, got that. Megalania Toxin, Spino Sail, Megalodon Tooth, Fairy Claws, Thylacoleo Hook Claw. So I actually have enough of everything? I think? Oh, I'm missing a Spino Sail. Yeah, I'm missing a, a Spino Sail. And a pair of Theory Claws. So, one of these, one of these. And I've got enough of that and enough of that. Wow. Okay. So, run each of those caves again. Breed Rexes. I don't have a Rex saddle. Okay, so this is a melee mutation. Alright, so um, I didn't record my commentary for a session, so I'm just going to kind of fill in some stuff here. I, I did a lot of just kind of grinding and flying around. Did find this Bronto, which I needed for a, uh, a Rhyneognath attaining method, really. I needed to put a plat saddle on it, which I still didn't have one, but uh, I did end up rectifying that in this episode. I uh, found another Rhyneognath that was male, so I killed it. I'm looking for a high-level female. I want to do it once, and I want to do it right. I had to go get some OP because I'm going back to that cave of the immune. Uh, Bronto finished taming by the time I had made it back home, so I went back, repaired up my gear, used the poly to make some plenty of, I should say, uh, gilly, and we are headed back into the cave of the immune. So here we are in the cave of the immune, and this, thankfully, it wasn't that badly overspawned. I, I'm not even sure that it was. It probably wasn't. Um, I'm, and like I said, I did figure out what was causing the overspawn issue, so I think I've rectified it. Um, but uh, the funny thing is, I actually ran this cave twice, even though I kind of cut them both together here, because it was right one right after the other. I got in, which you're seeing me right here, uh, making my way in, and, and there's a loot drop here, so I'm going to go get the loot. And then I was uh, continuing to make my way into the cave. And it, uh, I'll be honest, this cave actually isn't that hard except for one thing. I, it, it, the, it's a very small maze, but really what I'm talking about is Arthropleura, man. The Arthropleura are just such a pain. Um, a, an Arthro broke my ghillie and kicked me out of the cave. And so I had to come back in and finish it because I had actually cleared out the entire cave and had called it quits after defeating everything. So I came back in to finish it up and grab the artifact like you see there. Yeah, I, I had actually run the cave to completion and I had to go back in and uh, actually grab that artifact, which I don't need this artifact until I face the dragon. So hey, that's a thing. Um, and I decided to clear out this secondary room because now that I've cleared out this cave, I am running it for loot drops. So, who's up for yet another montage of me running cave drops and getting loot? And as long as the last one was, this one was even longer.
Also, I, I did get all three Explorer's Notes that I know are in this cave. So uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of loot I got from this cave. So I have one Ascendant Rex saddle, but it's not a blueprint. If it was a blueprint, I would have walked away everything I need. If I can get a pump shoddy blueprint or a Rex saddle blueprint, I will leave. Or a uh, Therizino blueprint. I don't know if you get Therizino blueprints in here. platform saddles gonna come in handy when I make the uh, Rhineo taming and I have an ascendant Rhineo saddle now that I can make after I tame the Rhineo this yellow drop on the right is here every time and then one of these red drops is here every time there's two in this room What? I didn't know this was here. I'll take the crossbow, thanks. Oop. Come on, pump, Rex saddle. That's an ascendant long neck PP. A 1000 armor riot helmet. If I get a bullet, I could take a train to the head. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 was that it? Was that a blueprint? Oh my, uh, oh. Please be a blueprint. Please be a blueprint. Please be a blueprint. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> Victory! <laughs> yes! It's going to cost me 8,000 fiber and 15,000 hide and 2,000 metal each. I need 18. <laughs> it's going to take a while. It'll take me a while, yeah. What I'll probably do is make about 10 of them and then fight the, the gamma and the beta, and it shouldn't be a problem. And then I'll make the other 10 when I fight the uh, fight the alpha. But alpha, alpha megapithecus should not be an issue now. I also got an Ascendant um, crossbow blueprint. Pretty much all all the flak and all the riot. So I have 927 riot helmet, 747 riot leggings, 893 riot boots, and I left some riot and flak back at the cave. I gotta go and get. This is perfect too. It's sunset. Yeah, I was I was gonna grind until I got the Rex saddle, a Therry saddle, or a pump shotgun, one of those three. And I got the Rex saddle, which is exactly what I needed to fight the Megapithecus. There is nothing standing between me and Megapithecus but time now. There are no major progress checkpoints to hit. I've cleared every cave. It sounds like I'm doing my ITGK survives intro. I've cleared every cave. I've got the apex drops. And I have the blueprints that I need. The only thing that's stopping me from fighting the Megapithecus is the time it takes to acquire all this stuff. I also have the Cave of the Immune down to a science to the point where I don't need scuba if there's no creatures in the cave. I have just enough health I can get in and out and be limping when I walk out. I'll take all this stuff. I do have one Rex saddle that is, uh, yeah, 246 armor, Ascendant, but it's real. So one Rex is just going to be blessed with, with a God saddle. I'd breed up a Riding Rex, but there's not really a reason for me to have a Riding Rex, is there? I mean, it would just be for farming hide at this point, really. I'm not going to take it through the snow cave. It doesn't really fit into any major cave. There's nothing that I need to ride a Rex for on the island. Scorched? Um, you're farming death worms on Scorched. Oh, yeah. I also got a Ascendant Bronto platform saddle, which I can use to equip with a ballista so that I can fire chain bolas at a Rhineo to kill the almost kill the rhino so that it can impregnate the same bronto that has the plat saddle on it so there you have it victory i have my ascendant rex saddle bp i was looking for we have all of the artifacts that i need the only thing we need to do is breed up a rex army and make those saddles and it's just a matter of time i need to make sure i can fit that rex saddle in a smithy with all those ingredients but uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you liked it. Comment, tell me how I can do better. Subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when future episodes of this and my other series come up. And I will see you in the next episode of ITGK Survives the Ark day by day. Thank you.